and welcome to Penang Hill, the oldest hill station in Malaysia with a long and enriching history. Let's explore the fascinating funicular system together and learn how it works. Unlike the old system which had two sets of coaches, the new system has just one set of coaches in the funicular. One coach goes up while the other comes down. These two coaches are linked by a 38mm diameter haul rope. In the old system, the coach had to stop at the middle station, where passengers would switch to a different coach to continue the uphill journey to the summit. However, the new system operates differently. It has only one set of coaches that go directly to the summit without any stops or coach changes along the way. To install the new coaches, certain sections of the existing track were realigned, especially at the mid-level station. The entire length of the track is close to 2 kilometers. The gradient ranged from 10.7 degrees to 27.9 degrees over a vertical rise of 691 meters. Now that we know about the history, let's dive in on how the rail system works. Some rail systems have three or four rails. They use single-sided flanged wheels on all four wheels of the bogey. These systems are commonly used for locomotives and train cars. When it comes to most funiculars, like the one at Benang Hill, they use a different approach. They go with a two-rail system using a single track and a passing loop. This system has double-sided flank wheels on one side and a flat wheel on the other side of the bogey. This way, they can smoothly cross over rails at the passing loop. This design is smart. It is easier to handle and requires less space and materials when building it. With all this in mind, the engineers and workers in the control room are working hard to make sure everything runs smoothly without any problems. The Benang Hill funicular system is a specific kind of system that's known for its reliability and is commonly used in mountainous areas. The system includes a double groove drive full wheel that helps evenly distribute weight, reducing strain on the cable. Paired with the brake system with over four fail-safe measures, this ensures a safe and smooth journey for passengers. As the funicular track spans nearly two kilometers from the lower to upper station, it conquers the steep and uneven hill slope by incorporating 11 viaducts. It features one of the world's steepest tunnels with an incline of 27.9 degrees. Under normal operations, the funicular system runs at a speed of 10 meters per second. Even during a power outage, when electrical power is lost, the emergency generator kicks in. It provides electrical power to the drive system, allowing it to operate at 5 meters per second in emergency situations. If there's a scenario where nothing else is powered, the auxiliary drive system comes into action. This system uses a diesel engine to operate a hydraulic system, which powers the coaches down to the lower station to disembark all passengers. The Penang Hill funicular has been operational for a century since its inception, and it will continue its journey, featuring a unique experience of Penang Hill.